वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल हेल्दी लाइफ स्टाइल विद सायरा द टॉपिक ऑफ माई टूडेज वीडियो इज यूरिक एसिड इट्स कॉजिज एंड नेचुरल वेज टू रिड्यूस यूरिक एसिड इन द बॉडी हैविंग सम यूरिक एसिड इन द ब्लड इज नॉर्मल हाउ एवर इफ यूरिक एसिड लेवल गोज अब और बिलो आ हेल्दी रेंज दिस कैन रिजल्ट इन हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम्स हाई यूरिक एसिड लेवल कैन इंक्रीज द रिस्क ऑफ गाउट इट इज अनयूजल टू हैव लो यूरिक एसिड लेवल्स इन द ब्लड बट लो लेवल्स इन यूरिन कैन इंडिकेट सर्टन हेल्थ कंडीशन वियर आ पर्सन पास इज टू मच यूरिक एसिड आउट ऑफ दियर बॉडी एज अ वेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स इसेंशियल टू नो हाउ यूरिक एसिड कैन बिल्ड अप इन द बॉडी प्यूरिनस आर केमिकल सब्सटांसिस that occur naturally in the body and in some foods when the body breaks down purines this creates uric acid as a waste product the kidneys filter it from the blood and pass it out of the body in the urine however uric acid can sometimes build up in the blood the medical term for this is hyperuricemia it can occur if the body produces too much uric acid or doesn't get rid of enough of it too much uric acid in the blood can lead to crystals forming in the joints and tissues which may cause inflammation and gout symptoms causes of high uric acid level in the blood causes of a high uric acid level in the blood include diuretics means water retention relievers drinking too much alcohol drinking too much soda or eating too much of foods that contain fructose a type of sugar genetics also known as inherited traits high blood pressure which is also known as hypertension immune suppressing drugs kidney problems leukemia metabolic syndrome vitamin b3 obesity polycythemia vera psoriasis a protein rich diet high in foods such as liver game meat anchovies and sardines people having chemotherapy or radiation treatments for cancers might be monitored for high uric acid level how to control uric acid in the body hyperuricemia or excessive uric acid in your body doesn't always cause symptoms however it does put you at higher risk of developing conditions like gout and kidney disease but fortunately you can manage the level of uric acid in your body by making good dietary choices If your uric acid levels are high enough to cause problems talk to your doctor about using medications to get them under control avoid meats high in proteins many meats contain protein which is a natural substance that turns into uric acid in your body after you eat it you can limit the amount of uric acid in your blood stream by avoiding protein rich meats such as organ meats including kidney and liver meat extracts and gravies red meats including beef lamb and pork some types of seafoods including anchovies sardines tuna and shellfish stay away from alcoholic beverages drinking alcohol can increase the uric acid level in your blood stream contributing to conditions like gout and kidney stone avoid these beverages to keep your uric acid levels from becoming too high if you are addicted to alcohol talk to your doctor about the best way to quit cut out sugary foods and drinks foods and beverages that are high in refined sugars and carbohydrates can boost your uric acid level Stay away from sugary candies, sodas and baked goods.
especially those that contain high fructose corn syrup even naturally sweet fruit juices can affect your uric acid levels avoid juices that are high in fructose like orange juice or apple juice drink plenty of water to flush out uric acid drinking lots of water can help flush excess uric acid out of your body reducing your chances of getting gout and preventing a build up of crystals that can lead to kidney stones while your water intake needs may vary depending on your overall health and activity levels most doctors recommend drinking at least 8 glasses of water per day eat a healthy balanced diet in addition to avoiding protein rich foods it's important for your overall health to maintain a nutritionally balanced diet you can get a nutrients you need and avoid developing high level of uric acid in your body by eating healthy sources of carbohydrates such as fruits vegetables and whole grains choosing lean protein sources such as beans and lentils poultry breast and low fat dairy products opting for healthy fat sources such as nuts nut butters and eggs ask your doctor about using vitamin c supplements vitamin c can help lower the levels of uric acid in your body talk to your doctor about whether you can safely take a vitamin c supplement let them know if you are currently taking any other medications or supplements your doctor may recommend a 500 mg or higher supplement to help manage your uric acid levels be cautious about taking high doses of vitamin c because this can increase your risk of developing kidney stones drink coffee in moderation to reduce your uric acid level there is some evidence that drinking moderate amounts of coffee can help reduce the levels of uric acid in your body and prevent gout however if you already have gout drinking caffeine can make it worse talk to your doctor about how much coffee you can safely drink if you drink coffee avoid sugary coffee drinks and high fat creamers these can increase your uric acid level incorporate cherries in your diet cherries are not only delicious but they can also help lower uric acid level in your blood stream try snacking on a handful of cherries or drinking a glass of cherry juice every day to help keep your uric acid level under control if you don't like cherries or can't get them easily consider taking cherry capsules You can get these supplements at a pharmacy or vitamin and supplement stores. Ask your doctor about what dosage is best for you. Talk to your doctor about how to maintain a healthy weight. Having excess weight can make it difficult for your body to get rid of uric acid. Talk to your doctor about setting a safe and healthy weight management goals. based on your current weight and overall health if you need to lose weight the healthiest way to do it is to reduce the number of calories you eat and increase how much you exercise this is all about how to reduce high uric acid level from your body thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe my channel And for any health related question and query you can ask in the comment section below goodbye